Well, breakouts and retracements are actually very normal, as we as we mentioned. It, you know, normal continuation of a trend or just a temporary you know change. That's all normal, but. Oh my gosh, some people behave badly and try to manipulate, <laughs> manipulate situations, manipulate the system, and really try to manipulate uh, uh, us as you know, honest people and manipulate others. And how they do this, uh, one way that you can behave badly as a trader is they make up their own news or they spread rumors or they do some dastardly recommendations or, or they talk, you know, they try to do some unfair trade practices like inside trading, whatever it might be. They're trying to do something that's not uh, ethical to try to influence the price and try to get others to kind of be tricked into that. Uh, so just be aware of, the, you know, sometimes some traders can go, can, can behave badly. Now the governments, you know, are out there with regulations and things to help protect us, particularly things against like insider trading if you're looking at stocks or, or things that might be, you know, manipulation of currency or whatever, you know, these types of things they, they have on there. So let's, let's say, for example, on the stock market world, if a CEO, you know, makes a statement that will try to raise the company stock that is a false statement, you know, then that there's laws against that and that person can be punished for it. They, they're a drug company CEO, for example, and they say, we have the cure for cancer. Well, if somebody says they got the cure for cancer, the stock is going to go skyrocketing. And they said, oh, I, I guess I didn't mean it. You know, then their the stock's going to fall. But meanwhile, the CEO and others who he's friends with could raise that stock up, sell it, get out, and then let it fall back down because they lied and manipulated the market, behaving badly. And it's illegal. Or they could post false things to try to raise the stock price automatically or not automatically, artificially, and then try to sell for a, qu a quick profit. And that can be just regular traders putting out rumors or theories or ideas that they really have no you know, basis of fact on. They're just trying to you know, manipulate the price is what they're doing. In fact, there's a, a term for that where it's called pump and dump. Uh, this graphic's a nice graphic that kind of explains that. You look at our price and time there on the horizontal vertical axis. And so let's say if you're back there at the... Uh, you know, the 10 cent level, right? And you, and you, you want to pump up that, that price, right? So they're usually going to talk about things like, uh, you know, the next hot tip or, or next big thing or whatever. You might see people posting blog posts or things on forums or saying things like, there's definitely a breakout coming. It's going to go up high. Oh, you got to get in before it goes up too high. And they'll promote it on a forum or blog or YouTube or wherever they can promote it in social media. And uh, they're going to promote this. This is all great. And they have no basis of fact in it. They're trying to basically trick trying to trick you uh, to you know get people to buy and raise that price. You see a lot of it, by the way, if you later on, if you decide you, you know, start applying this and you want to trade very inexpensive stocks, very, very inexpensive stocks, like what are termed penny stocks, or a lot of cryptocurrency, especially in the altcoin world, not so much Bitcoin, but some of the altcoins that are newer, less understood, maybe lower, things that are lower priced is the idea, is that can be manipulated easier. There's less traders in those areas. And the price moves can be more dramatic because, you know, going from 10 cents to 15 cents is a big move, you know, versus trading, let's say, a security that's trading for hundreds or thousands of dollars. And always consider the source when you start seeing these things, a little hot tip or whatever. But the idea is that they take something that's, let's say, now today trading for 10 cents um, or 0.10, and they're going to keep promoting, 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 and try to drive that up to, let's say, 0.90. That's the pump part. All, and, but they have no basis for fact, right? And then what they do is they dump it, they sell it, they get out, right? They get out at 0.9, and then maybe after it starts falling a little bit, they say, oh, it's maybe not that great a thing, it's, it's not so good, and then it goes down in price, right? But meanwhile, they've made their profit, so that's pumping and dumping. Just be aware of it, especially on things that are more narrowly traded, like penny stocks and alternate coins in things like cryptocurrency, but it can occur basically anywhere.